Hello everyone, today I will show you how to change the number of CPU cores without going into the BIOS settings. As you can see the BIOS only provides three options to choose from, 4 cores, 6 cores, and 8 cores. However, with these settings, you can even change the CPU cores to just 2 cores. Let's get started. Currently, my CPU has 8 cores and 16 threads, but I will change it to 2 cores and 4 threads. First. Go to Settings and search for Run, then type in MSCONFIG. Next, go to the Boot tab and select Advanced Options. Tick the box for Number of Processors, this refers to the number of threads available. You can see there are 16 threads available. Selecting 16 threads means 8 cores, 12 threads means 6 cores, 8 threads means 4 cores, and 4 threads means 2 cores. Since I want to change it to two cores, I will select four threads. Then click OK, apply the changes, and select OK again. The system will ask you to restart. Click Restart to apply the changes. Now, after restarting the device, let's open the Adrenaline software again to check the change. As you can see here, the system now detects two cores and four threads. To confirm, you can also open Task Manager, and you'll see that it also detects two cores and four threads. This configuration is not recommended for gaming, I'm just using it as an example to show that you can reduce the cores to two with these settings. So, how do you convert back to eight cores and 16 threads? If you go back to the settings, it's now only show four threads available. Here's the trick. Simply untick the number of processors box, click OK, then apply, and OK again. Finally, restart the device. After the restart, go back to the Adrenaline software and you will see that it now detects 8 cores and 16 threads. Now I have added 2 cores and 4 threads to the test to see how it handles the game. As you can see here, even with CPU boost enabled, which allows the CPU clock speed to reach up to 3.7 GHz, the highest among the 4 options, the 2 core setup still performs worse than the 4 core, 6 core, and 8 core configurations. This is likely why Lenovo didn't include the 2 core option in the BIOS settings. The benchmark results clearly highlight why the 2 core 4 thread configuration performs worse than the other options, despite having the highest clock speed of 3.7 GHz. While clock speed does contribute to performance, it is not the sole factor, especially in AAA titles. The core and thread count of a CPU plays a much more critical role in determining overall performance. The limited number of cores and threads in the two-core configuration restricts its ability to handle these tasks simultaneously, creating a bottleneck that results in lower frame rates. In addition, while the two-core CPU has the potential to boost to higher clock speeds, it cannot compensate for the lack of additional cores and threads. A configuration with four cores and eight threads can distribute the workload more evenly, ensuring smoother performance even at slightly lower clock speeds. Another factor to consider is the optimization of AAA games, which are designed to scale better across multiple cores. A two-core CPU, regardless of its clock speed, may not meet the minimum requirements to fully utilize the game engine's capabilities. Moreover, background processes from the operating system and other applications can consume valuable CPU resources. With only two cores available, these additional processes take a larger percentage of the CPU's overall capacity, further reducing performance for the game itself. Now I have added a 30-watt TDP to the two-core, four-thread CPU configuration, allowing it to boost up to 4.5 GHz. However, this still results in only a marginal improvement, with performance reaching an average of 60 FPS. This highlights the inefficiency of this setup compared to configurations with more cores and threads. Despite the increased power allocation and higher clock speed, the two-core CPU remains fundamentally limited by its architecture, which cannot effectively handle the parallel workloads of AAA games like Far Cry 6. The added power does little to improve performance, as the bottleneck stems not from clock speed or power availability, but from the lack of sufficient processing threads. In contrast, CPUs with 4, 6, or 8 cores can divide the game's tasks more effectively across multiple threads, delivering smoother performance at lower clock speeds and within tighter power constraints. The two-core configuration, even at 30 watts thermal design power, struggles to keep up because its cores are fully saturated, leading to inefficiencies in task scheduling and processing. 
This results in wasted power, as the extra wattage is spent on sustaining higher frequencies rather than improving real-world performance. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.